Hello McClure families, my name is Dave Castrip and I'm the Athletic and Activities Director here at McClure High School. During this presentation, I will be going over important information regarding your child's involvement in sports and activities here at McClure. I want to start by welcoming you to Common Nation. Here at McClure, we're a family and we constantly work to support each other across every sport and program. To the students out there, playing high school sports is an opportunity that only lasts for a short period. The time will fly by, but the memories will last forever. Give it your all and show everyone what it means to be a McClure Comet. I've been the athletic director here at McClure since 2017. Before then, I was a varsity football coach, a head track and field coach, and industrial arts teacher here in the Ferguson Florissant School District. I'm a product of Ferg Floor and still reside in Florissant to this day. Since arriving at McClure, my goal has been to honor the rich tradition that we have here at McClure and to make McClure a name that everyone knows, not only in the St. Louis area, but the entire state of Missouri. People will know McClure for the competitive gameplay, our excellent sportsmanship, our amazing fans and community support, and for the class that our coaches and athletes demonstrate on and off the field. I am here to support our athletes and our coaches and the entire McClure community. So if you ever have any questions or concerns, please email or call me. I also invite you to join Comet Nation and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to get the latest updates and stories that are coming out of McClure Athletics. Our athletic schedules, along with other important information, including rosters, college planning resources, team information, as well as important documents like sports physicals and code of honor forms, can be found on our athletic website at www.mcclurehighcomets.com. I also encourage you to make your own fan account on our page. That will allow you to choose your favorite teams to follow and receive notifications on schedule changes, cancellations, scores, and other important announcements from the athletic department. At McClure, we want to get as many students involved in extracurricular activities as we can. This is a point that is stressed not just through me, but also the entire administrative team here at McClure. We understand that the benefits of getting involved in high school are invaluable to the student success. There are so many reasons why students should get involved. Here are just a few. As sponsors and coaches, we all love to see students win on the field, but when the full experience of sports and activities are taken advantage of by students, we see the true product. Those are the skills that students learn through these activities that will help them succeed later through life, such as leadership, character, teamwork, and hard work, just to name a few. McClure has an array of opportunities for students in each of the three seasons. Some of the sports that we offer here at McClure are cut sports and some are non-cut sports. That usually depends on the interest and the turnout for that year. It's always our goal to have a freshman JV and varsity team. Based on the number of participants, that can change year to year. In the fall season, we have boys soccer, girls tennis, boys swimming, football, girls volleyball, cross country, boys and girls, softball, sideline cheerleading, dance and pommies. In the winter, we offer boys wrestling, girls wrestling, girls swimming, boys basketball, girls basketball, sideline cheerleading, and dance and pommies. And in the spring season, we offer girls soccer, girls track and field, boys track and field, baseball, and boys tennis. McClure is a member of the Missouri State High School Activities Association, also known as MISHA. McClure, along with the almost other 600 member schools, must abide by the bylaws that are set in place by MISHA. In order to begin participating on a team here at McClure, students must first meet all academic requirements that are set forth by the Missouri State High School Activities Association. We will be reviewing those academic requirements in the future slides. Secondly, the students must have a valid sports physical on file in the athletic director's office. This form can either be picked up from the school or printed from our website at www.mcclorehighcomments.com before seeing your licensed physician. Number three, the students must have all required forms turned into the athletic, athletic director's office before beginning practice or tryouts.
The last requirement is that all students must meet the residential requirements set forth by MISHA. We will be reviewing transfer information in the future slides. Here are the physical and pre-participation packets. The physicals can be good for two years, now to the date of the physical. Some doctors may still only approve it for one year. That is up to your physician. The pre-participation packet must be completed every year just one time. Oftentimes, students report to school with a printout from their doctor. These are often shot records or general information about the vitals that were recorded at the time of checkup. These will not be accepted unless it states that the student is clearly participating in physical activities and or contact sports. The best and easiest thing to do is to make sure that you get a blank form from our office or print one off our website at www.mcclurehighcomments.com. Then at the doctor, have them complete it and return it back to the athletic office as soon as possible. The pre-participation packet includes a code of honor that the parent and the student need to read and agree to, emergency contact information, a review of health in the event that there has been changes since last seeing the doctor, parental consent, health insurance information, concussion statement, and the MISHA student agreement. Students must, must have health insurance in order to participate. If there are questions concerning the health insurance requirement, please call me at 314-506-9440 and I can answer your questions and provide you additional resources. Both MISHA and the Ferguson Florissen School District have guidelines in place to ensure that our athletes are focused on academics first. MISHA has set the standard by requiring that all students earn credit in a minimum of 80% of the full course schedule at their school that their school offers. At McClure, we have eight hour schedule. So to meet 80% rule, our students need to pass seven of the eight classes and earn credit for those classes. Students need to pass those classes the semester prior to competing what that means is if an athlete wants to play girls softball or football, which takes place in the fall, or first semester of school, those students need to pass seven classes the previous spring semester to meet, the, to meet that requirement. Students may take summer school, if available, to make up failed classes, but the state will only accept up to two courses of makeup work in the summer, or 1.0 credits. Students also need to be enrolled currently enrolled in a minimum of seven classes during the season in which they would like to participate. All ninth graders are deemed academically eligible in the fall season for athletics as long as they are entering the ninth grade for the first time at a single school. Any ninth grader that begins the year at a different school will have to clear the MISHA transfer process. Also, beginning second semester, all ninth graders will need to meet the academic requirements previously stated if they wish to participate in a winter or a spring sport. If a student is new to McClure and is interested in playing sports, they need to see the athletic director as soon as possible to complete a transfer form. The athletic director will put the information into the MISHA transfer system, and at that time, the information is sent to the student's previous school where their administration will enter required information before sending it to MISHA for review. Depending on the situation, MISHA will rule either no restrictions, meaning the student is free to play any sport, any level, as long as they meet the academic requirements, restricted, which often will limit the athlete from playing specific sports or specific levels, for example, sub-varsity only, meaning JV or freshman, or they will rule ineligible, which the student cannot play any sport for 365 days. It is expected that all students interested in participating in sports and activities adhere to the Ferguson Florissant Student Expectation Code. Any student that is suspended out of school may, na may not take part or attend any sports or activities on or off our campus until they are cleared to return to school. This includes sitting in any fan sections as well. Any student that is assigned in-school suspension as a result of the expect as ex expectation code violation should attend practices on the date of ISS unless their coach tells them differently. 
Students that served ISS may not participate in athletic contests on the day they served. If they have ISS on a Friday, they are ineligible to participate in Saturday contests as well. Coaches and the athletic director reserve the right to be more restrictive on these situations. Playing time could be affected beyond the policies of the school, and the violations could result in a dismissal from the team. These will be addressed on a case-by-case -case basis. All student athletes must be creditable citizens. Any athlete that is charged or involved in an investigation where charges could be filed or deemed ineligible, according to MISHA Bylaw 2.2.2, until all charges are dropped and, are, and or all court order conditions have been met. It is the responsibility of the student to report any and all situations that would affect their eligibility under these standards. Student athletes are expected to be students first, and to support this push in season, the coaches will be working with the athletic director on weekly grade checks. The AD will run grade checks on Tuesdays. All results of the grade checks are enforced for the entire week, and the grades will not be reevaluated until the following Tuesday. The weekly checks require that all athletes hold passing grades in at least seven classes. If a student is only taking seven credit earning classes, they are expected to maintain the passing grade in all seven classes. If a student fails to show passing grades on at least seven classes, they will be considered on academic probation, in which they will be required to attend mandatory tutoring or academic intervention set in place by their coach before attending practices. Athletes are still able to practice and play in games at this time unless otherwise told by their coach. Probation will last one week and grades will be reevaluated the following Tuesday. If the same student is not passing seven classes by the next check, that student is now considered to be academic, be on academic suspension. During that time, the student must attend mandatory tutoring or other academic interventions that are set in place by their coaches. The student will remain on suspension for a minimum of seven days in which the grades will be rechecked for improvement. During academic suspension, the student may not compete in any athletic competitions, but should attend required tutoring sessions, practices, and any other team-related activities set by their coach unless they're told otherwise. If your student has a desire to play college sports, the number one thing they can do at this time is to focus on their academics. Our coaches and school faculty are devoted to the work to prepare every student athlete to continue their athletic and ac academic career at the collegiate level. But this is a process that starts for the student on day one of their high school experience. There's additional resources available on our school website under the College Planning tab at www.mcclurehighcomments.com. All students that have the desire to play college sports should begin early in their planning. Freshman and sophomore years should be devoted to getting the best possible grades in their core courses. NCAA only looks at core courses. Those include math, English, science, social studies, and world language. Not all courses in those content areas are approved by the NCAA. Students should familiarize themselves with the list of approved courses by visiting the NCAA website. Students should also register for a student account with the corecoursegpa.com. This tool allows students to list the approved courses that they are currently taking or have completed here at McClure and enter the credit they earned. The tool will track your progress toward NCAA eligibility. All of McClure's approved courses can also be found on that website after you make an account. Sophomores should also take the time to register for a profile page with the NCAA Eligibility Center. That's at eligibilitycenter.org. Just like freshman and sophomore year, junior year focuses should remain on earning the best grades possible. Continue to track your grades in the core course GPA system, and if a student has not done so already, they need to take the ACT by their junior year. Whenever signing up for the ACT, the student should make sure that the NCAA receives a copy of the scores. They can do this by making sure they input the code 9999 when registering for the ACT for a receiving code. 9999 is the NCAA code. 
Also, to help college coaches in the recruiting process, students should have their unofficial transcripts uploaded into the NCAA website at the conclusion of their junior year. During your senior year, students should continue to track grades, do the best they can, and retake the ACT if necessary. The NCAA requirements incorporate a sliding scale in their eligibility calculation. This means the higher the ACT score, the lower the core GPA can be and vice versa. In October of the student's senior year, the student and their parents should begin completing the Free Application for Federal Student Aid or FAFSA form. Most colleges will require the FAFSA be completed before they offer any additional scholarships to students. We hold our student athletes to high expectations here at McClure. It's important for the success and safety of our programs that all athletes follow these expectations. Maintain grades to meet district and state academic requirements. Make academics number one priority for the student. Any issues that may hinder performance in the classroom as a result of their participation on a team or club must be brought to the attention of the teacher by the student so plans can be put in place. Attend class regularly and on time. Excessive attendance issues could result in athletic and activities of participation being affected. Abide by all school policies put forth by the Ferguson Florissant Student Expectation Code. Attend all practices as well as team scheduled activities. High school sports is not a part-time commitment. Athletes should expect to practice and or play five to six days a week depending on the team schedules and coaches plan for that week. All athletes should get dressed for practice and games in locker rooms and or designated team rooms. Athletes should not get dressed in gyms, hallways, open fields, etc. Athletes should respect all facilities and equipment. Athletes should follow all district policies when riding on athletic buses. Inappropriate behavior on school transportation could result in dismissal from the team or further disciplinary action, including but not limited to in-school or out-of-school suspensions. Athletes need to proceed to their designated practice or competition area immediately after school. No students should be unattended areas of campus without the presence of a faculty or a coach. And students are responsible for their own belongings, so they should lock up all personal belongings during practice and competitions. The school is not responsible for any lost or stolen property. Lockers are available for all athletes at McClure. Students must attend classes every day. Unexcused absences must be approved by the building principal in order to participate in competitions that day. Parents should report all absences to the attendance office on the day of the absence as soon as possible. Students and parents should also contact the coach if a student is going to miss school for any reason. At McClure High School, sportsmanship is an expectation. So please let the players play, let the coaches coach, let the officials officiate, and let the spectators be positive. Disrespect toward opponents, officials, and coaches will not be tolerated. Negative cheers and chants are not allowed. Fans that display unsportsmanlike conduct will be asked to leave without refund. Multiple removals could result in a ban from attending any and all McClure events for a given time period. And a reminder that MISHA rules require any student removed from a game for unsportsmanlike conduct be suspended for the following contest as well. High school sports provide educational opportunities that everybody plays a role in. Play your part to educate the children of today be the leaders of tomorrow. In the event that a parent or student has an issue with a coach or something that's going on with the team, it is important that we follow the proper procedures to ensure that all the voices are heard and that we can come to a positive resolution that's best for everyone involved. Please follow the parent and coach communication guidelines listed here. The parent coach communication guidelines are also available on our school athletic website at www.mcclorehighcomments.com. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions concerning this process or these guidelines. 
It's important that we remember the purpose of any meeting is to find a positive outcome. It's important to remember that in the event that a meeting does take place, there are things that are appropriate to discuss and there are things that are not appropriate to discuss during the meeting. Things that are appropriate to discuss during the meeting are, would include the treatment of your student mentally or physically, ways to help your student improve to possibly see more playing time, concerns about your student's behavior, and concerns about academics. Issues that are not appropriate to discuss with the coaching staff would be playing time, team strategy, play calling, and other student athletes or participants that are involved in the program. Parents and coaches should focus on being positive. Doing this will help the students learn that success is achieved in the development of a skill and should make the student feel good about themselves regardless of the outcome of any contest. We are blessed to have a great partnership with Athletic Care Sports Health Foundation here at McClure. We have a certified athletic trainer that's here daily to provide a variety of services to our athletes. Some of these services include injury treatment, injury prevention, and rehab. It is stressed that our athletes report injuries to their coaches so that the athletic trainer can be contacted. Our athletic trainers have the ability to diagnose injuries and should be involved in the process. Parents and students should reach out to the athletic trainer if they have any questions on possible injuries or rehab needs. Our trainers also regularly work with a number of orthopedic surgeons and rehab facilities in the area and can assist with getting athletes appointments in a timely fashion. So now we know the basics of the McClure Athletic Department. We know the expectations for the students. We know the academic requirements and we know some of the resources that are available. So now how does the student prepare for the first day of practice? To be ready for the first day, you must have all students have to have their athletic physical on file, a completed pre-participation packet. They need to meet all academic requirements. If they're unsure of that, they need to see the athletic director and he can let them know. They need to be currently enrolled at McClure High School or have McClure as their home school and be enrolled in North Tech or Innovation at Cool Valley. And they need a completed tryout ticket to submit to their coach upon the arrival on the first day. Please do not give any physicals or pre-participation packets to anybody other than the athletic director or the athletic trainer at McClure. Tryout tickets like this one is your last requirement to start practice. These are often available several days before the first day of practice. I typically issue them during lunches or before or after school. If a student has everything they need to play, they will receive a ticket. Students will hand the card to their coach as they arrive on the first day. If they don't have a ticket, they will not be admitted into tryouts or practice by any coach. Students should never request to leave a class during the day to obtain a ticket. This should be obtained during lunch or after or before school. We have had many successes here at McClure and we can't wait to watch your child continue that tradition and leave their mark in the record books. Again, my name is Dave Kastrup and I'm the athletic director here at McClure High School. I can be reached through email at dkas T-R-U-P at fergfloor.org. I can also be reached by phone at 314-506-9440. All athletic physicals and pre-participation -pre -pre forms can be faxed to 314-370-2376. Please take a moment and follow us on Twitter and Instagram and stay up to date with our latest Comet successes. I hope you take a moment and visit our website at www.mcclorehighcomets.com where you can get the latest schedules, coaches information, team information, and other valuable information related to our programs. I want to thank you for our, your time, and I look forward to meeting you and working with your child. I also want to take a moment and thank you in advance for all the sacrifices that you as a parent will make to help get your son or daughter through this exciting journey of high school sports. We cannot do our job without, your, without the amazing support of our parents. Have a blessed day, 
and go Comets! Thank you.